Welcome, affiliated listeners, to another episode of the Monday Minutes. I am Kyle Kosteka, and today I want to talk to you guys about a common thing that I hear, especially from people that might have started to have success in their business. Maybe you had your first offer, or maybe it's your second or third, but it's the first one that's starting to be profitable. You're seeing money come in. You think, oh my gosh, I'm there. I'm ready to either you know, replace my daily income or reach whatever goals to hit platinum, or even you know, early on, you just hit platinum but you know the business isn't where you want it to go. This is an inflection point where a lot of people start telling you a lot of different things. Go do this course, do this mastermind, go do this, blah, 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 blah. And you're pulled in a lot of directions and there's it's really easy to make the wrong choice. So a couple of things I wanna to talk to you about how to make the right choice so you can level up your business and yourself without necessarily breaking the pocketbooks or doing too many things and just failing when you try and get better. There's a couple of things you wanna look at. I think education is always key, but one of the biggest things at this point is you're probably doing something well. You didn't get to this point to make money because you weren't you were bad at everything. There's probably one skill set that you do incredibly well. So first, before you get into any of this, find that superpower and ask yourself, how do I let myself continue to do this even better? That should be your first step. So if it's media buying, maybe you need to not necessarily go get another media buying course, but how do you talk to other high level media buyers to grow that skill, develop that portion of your business? Maybe you wrote really good copy. A big portion could be how do you up level your copy? Where are the advanced copywriters meeting? Where are they talking? What are they doing? The first thing I'd tell you is that's going to be important. If you're learning a skill or you want to go do a skill, make sure it's replic it's it's building off what you already do well. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make is they decide, oh, great, well, we don't have this in our business. I'm going to go learn it. You're not good at it. It goes really slow. You have to relearn a bunch of things. And so you take from your superpower, you drain that to go do something that you don't know and you can't do very well. That is a perfect way to put the brakes on your business and your growth. Instead, highlight what you do really well. And then next thing is what, what should you do with that? There's a lot of different options. There are courses that you could go and do, but what's the right course? Maybe you've already been through one. That could be a little bit challenging. I think the first step you need to do is you need to find the people that are above you, okay? So if I'm a business owner, I'm gonna go to who are all the business owners making more money than me? If I'm really good at copywriting, who are the copywriters that I think are more successful than me? Find them, go where they are. Don't be the dumbest person or the smartest person in the room. Find the room where you are going to be the least skilled and how do you get in there? Lots of people are like, well, yeah, how do I do that? One of the biggest things are masterminds. I think the one of the best ways to start upgrading your business is a mastermind, is going to a mastermind with that skill set or the people that have where you want to go. For those that aren't, aren't aware of what a mastermind is, think of a group of uh, anywhere about 150 to about 40 people getting together, like-minded, sharing ideas to grow business, whether it's giving talks, networking. This is a fantastic place to accelerate your business in lots of different ways. But from a skill set standpoint, you're going to be able to get an audience with the people that are doing what you do okay or well even better at bigger scale. They could tell you how they overcome where you're at right now and what things to avoid so you don't fail in that process. All of a sudden, you're compressing your time to success by going and interacting with the people that specialize in the thing that you think could grow your business. As for masterminds and how do you find a good one, you know, one of the great things is look at the events page at ClickBank. We're, we go to a lot of masterminds. We sponsor a lot of masterminds. We only work with some of the best masterminds out there. So we have a great resource for this. The other thing is ask people around you that you do happen to know in the industry. What are masterminds that you go to? What are the ones you really like? What are the ones you don't like? Why? I think that's a big thing. They might hate a mastermind for some reason that you would love a mastermind and you want to go to that one. So you want to make sure you ask that question. But just some examples out there of ones that are really fantastic. One of my favorites is uh, Flight Club is an amazing one, especially if you're looking high level entrepreneur. You're, you're not really in the low end. If you're a little bit higher end, it's amazing room, great content, great networking. There's also four, four rooms by Amber Spears. That's another fantastic event that people say great things about. There's Copy Accelerator, which is great. Supplement Millionaire Mastermind is another fantastic one. And there's uh, Perry Belcher has his Driven Mastermind as well. There's a lot of great ones out there. I would really recommend you just asking some people and finding the ones that, that work for you as well as going to our events page and seeing that. The last thing I'd tell you for kind of compressing time when you're looking to go to the next level and really change your business, you want to go and network with the people that have your strengths, but that also leads, what do you do about the parts of your business that are missing, that are lacking? This is where I think with condensing time, oftentimes we want to go learn these things. Don't learn it. Find the expert that solves the pain point 
that you can't fix or the big blind spot in your business. And you can enter, this is where entering into partnerships, working with agencies, working with consultants are incredibly value. Hiring somebody in your business that specializes in what you know you don't do well. Fractional CMOs, fractional COOs, fractional CFOs. These are huge parts of your business that could take you to the next level. And I'd strongly encourage you to find the experts, the agencies, or the people that already do it very well. One thing that's really important to focus on when you're doing this, whether it's a partner, whether it's an agency, there's two things you really want to focus on. Know enough about what you don't know to not be wamboozled. So essentially, you need to know enough to know if someone's doing good or bad. Understand what enough about Facebook ads, just cursory level, to not get fleeced by somebody that doesn't know what they're doing is going to take your money. That's the same with partners, too. If you're going to partner with somebody, you need to know enough to know that they know what they're talking about. And if you're not sure, ask somebody that does. Ask people that know more. Reach out to your network. Make sure that you're not entering into a partnership or an agency relationship blind. The next piece is make sure that you like working with them. It seems dumb, right? But there's a lot of experts out there that have great expertise. But for whatever reason, you just don't like them as people. If you don't like them as a human, it's going to be really challenging to work with them. So don't let maybe someone's skill set, someone's expertise even if they're um, um, somebody that you really don't like working with or talking with at all, somehow override that, right? The number one thing is, can I work with them? So first, can I work with them? Second, do they even know what they're doing? Are they going to provide me value? If you, the answer is yes on both of those, you should position yourself pretty well to really level up that business, whether it's in your own skills getting better or filling in the gaps for the places you don't want with experts and agencies. You might find yourself in the Diamond Summit that's coming up here at ClickBank pretty soon if you get those two things right. So until next time, look forward to helping you grow in your business and you have a good rest of your week.